our clouds almost look normal. There was a time when we could name the clouds. We could teach them to our children. Hi everyone. We're hanging in there. I just wanted to let everyone know. Um, this is going to be a short video. I wanted to talk about... I'm going to get out of the wind. I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Um, first thing, <laughs> yesterday, um, I and other people saw a classic agent provocateur, and if you weren't involved in it, that's cool. Um, you probably don't want to know anything else. But I actually asked some friends of mine, go this way, who, um, don't really do a lot of YouTube or they, they'll watch videos but um, there was some warrior nations to look at what someone was saying because there's key words that, that let you know that someone is a federal agent provocateur and um, they got back to me and said yeah stay the hell away from that person and um, I'm going to leave it at that because everybody knows what I'm talking about if you are involved in that. Now the second thing I, was, I wanted to talk about is it looks like the government, well, of course, our government's always posturing to start a war with somebody. Um, I, I hate what government, and we all know what it means to govern, means to control, meant the mind. I'm trying to get out of the wind. Uh, so, um, but I also believe they're trying to push a civil war. And I would like to know what side you'd be on. Would it be the conservatives against the liberals, or uh, Republicans against the Democrats, or... Because to me, I'm going to remain armed neutral, and I'll protect my family and friends if need be. Dang, I love the wind, I have to tell you, but the wind is changing directions. Um, and it's hard to talk when the wind's blowing. This is what I like to say. Usually, if there is wars, civil wars, um, even world wars, the people who remain in a neutral fashion, armed, stand fast in that, usually come out ahead. Um, because any civil war in North America would be funded by, well, we know who they'd be funded by, it would be a co-opted war to pit neighbor against neighbor. And the only people that would benefit would be the governments. The old world order. It's not a new world order. It's the same world order that's been doing this for thousands of years. They use it with all kinds of tools. Religion. Skin color. Class. And, you know, all the rest. I don't have to say it. We should teach our children well. Mule, you did an excellent, excellent job with your children. Um at the protest. I've been to protests. When I was a kid, I went to a protest. Um, it was over. My neighbor was, um, his helicopter was down in Laos. We weren't supposed to be in Laos in 1968. Um, and he was in special ops. So, um, where I lived, a group of us got on a bus and I was a little kid and my cousin took me and there were tanks and everything else in Washington, D.C., and I saw a protest because they were lying about the Vietnam War. And our neighbor, actually our neighbor's case got it brought to Congress in a closed-door session, and um, I had left Tennessee by then, but, um, shoot, I think it was the 80s or 90s. I'll, I'll put the link up below, or below this. But anyway, what I would like to say is in a conflict, if there is one, because the government's posturing for a world war or for a civil war, one of the two, where will you stand? Now, I know where I'll stand, and that is called, I'm going to be armed neutral, meaning I'll take care of my friends and family and those I'm with, but um, I'm not choosing a side. And I would like to have a conversation on this. How will you stand? I mean, when you don't know who's funding all this and since I hear the government's buying up a lot of ammunitions and stuff wouldn't they hand them out to the people they support I mean even regular people 
sounds like a civil war is coming to me. That's what I think. However, I think that if you remained armed neutral and after all the dust settled, you could come out with your demands and maybe an army bigger than theirs. Just my humble opinion. I'd like to have a discussion on this. What say you? Oh, and I wanted to say this real quick. Dooley, I had to go to the doctor today. And uh, they gave me some meds. I'm afraid to take them. I don't want to look like this or this. So I haven't taken them yet. Just, maybe I'll smoke some weed. 